Hi there YouTube and welcome to another vlog. I've come to a location today that I've never been to before, a place called Hardwick Wood which is about four miles from where I live uh, and there's still until I started looking on the map for new locations the other day I didn't even know this place existed um, I don't know what I'm going to find oh, I'm seriously not fit at all out of breath walking up this I only walked a couple of hundred meters and it's not that steep I'm out of breath already that's not good anyway I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to find. Um, whether or not it was worth coming here from a photography perspective, as you can probably see from what's around me, uh, this type of woodland doesn't really lend itself well to photography. It's very messy, there's ivy growing up pretty much everything. I also don't have any idyllic favourable conditions either such as mist or directional side light or anything like that it's very dull overcast and uh, it's quite windy as well which means these trees are moving so this just might end up being a walk without the camera coming out the back so I'm starting to wonder whether this trip is going to be a bit of a dead loss in terms of um, in terms of photography options because well as you can see behind me if you just look behind me everything in this wood is completely choked off with this uh, wild uh, ivy that's growing over everything it carpets the woodland floor, it covers the trees, it's everywhere. The trees themselves are quite uninteresting and featureless. So this could just end up being a long walk with no photographs at all. There's another problem as well. Uh, if I'm shooting that way, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the town down in the valley beneath this wood through the trees maybe there's a reason why I couldn't find any photographs of this place maybe nobody bothers to photograph it because there's nothing here worth photographing I've just passed uh, a lady walking her dogs and um, she told me that this whole place was deforested completely relatively recently when she says recently, I'm, I'm assuming she probably means in the last 30 or 40 years. Which would explain a lot because if it's been replanted, if it's been replanted, that would explain why it's a bit uniform and a bit featureless. And why this uh, ivy, look at it, just look at it, has taken over pretty much everything. This is what happens when you mess with nature, you see. I don't know what grew here before. They decided to deforest it. Uh, clearly some of these trees are very old, but a lot of them clearly aren't. And they're fast growing, uh, featureless, sort of birch type trees, I think. The fact that they're all so covered in ivy means that they're a bit featureless. And I bet you're fed up of hearing me moaning about how rubbish this wood is and you're thinking to yourself, just take a bloody photograph or clear off, will you? Yeah. I'll try my best here. I'll try my best. Well, for the first time, I think since I've been doing this, sort of doing photography and vlogging it, I feel completely beaten by my surroundings. 
I literally can't find anything at all to photograph. I've walked, I've walked to where the wood ends, which is about 100 metres in that direction, and maybe a bit further in that direction. Been all the way to the end. That's where the wood is ends. It's fenced off up there. You can't go any further. Um, I've taken a lot of different footpaths and I can't find anything at all that catches my eye. Not a thing. Look at it. It's just... It's just an overgrown forest of weeds. That's what it looks like. Just a load of really tall weeds made out of wood. That's all that's here. These trees are here solely for the purpose of being here and creating oxygen. Well, one positive from this is I can cross this off my list of uh, potential locations. I certainly won't be coming back here again. And you might think, well, ah, well, if it was misty or yeah, if it was misty, there's better woods than this to go to, to photograph with mist. So no, I won't be coming here again. I'm going to take a different route back and see if uh, um, I see anything at all uh, on the way back. But this could just be um, a video without a photograph. If in doubt, go for the abstract. Um, as I'm walking back towards, uh, back in the direction of the car park, um, I've seen these two trees um, standing side by side, but they've got these huge vines growing all the way up from the base, all the way through the trees. And um, I've put the long lens on so that I can zoom in really close. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, uh, I've zoomed right in so that the, the two trees fill almost all of the frame apart from um, I'm using the background, if you like, to actually frame the shot. So the lighter background is going to actually frame the two trees uh, from the sides. I've opened my aperture all the way up to, uh, let's see what we're at. So let's see, it's F5. That's as wide open as this lens goes when it's zoomed in. Uh, and I'm focusing on the tree nearest to me, on the vines. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll bring you over here and just uh, talk you through what I'm doing. Okay, so live view keeps going off. I need to go into the settings and change that so that it stays on for longer. So as you can see, I'm focused in on that vine there. Um, let me just go back in there and as you can see now there's some fall off because I've got the aperture wide open 
These uh, vines uh, further back are not quite as sharp as this one, so we've got a bit of fall off there. And then you can see the white bands, well not white, but the lighter bands either side that frame the shot. Um, I'm not too sure about these little branches that are coming in the top of the frame here. Um, I think it'll be alright, I think it'll still work. I could always crop it down to about there. But yeah, that's basically what I'm working with. Um, so if we just look at my settings again. So there we go, we've got F5, ISO 50. I'm underexposed by just over a whole stop. And that's giving me one over eighth of a second. And with a two second timer on, there's the shot. Well, as you can probably tell, um, I've not had the best uh, morning out. This place is a bit... It's a lovely place, don't get me wrong, beautiful place to come for a walk or to walk your dogs or um, to enjoy nature. I can hear lots of woodpeckers around and um, I'm sure there's other wildlife knocking around. But in terms of woodland photography, it's not that great. So. Uh, I'll cross this one off my list, put it down to experience. Sorry there's only one image today. Sorry I did an awful lot of moaning. Um, there you go. And uh, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video.